In this lesson for Photoshop Elements 9, we'll create a printable sheet of party circles like the one shown here. From the File menu, choose New, then choose Blank File, and from the Preset drop-down, choose U.S. Paper, and choose the letter size from the Size drop-down. The size will be 8.5 by 11 inches with a background contents of white, and click OK. Double-click the Hand tool to make the sheet fill the screen, and make sure that the rulers are displayed. From the View menu, choose Rulers. If your rulers are showing any other measurements, such as pixels, right-click on the top ruler, and then choose Inches from the list. Let's drag guidelines across our sheet to set our printable boundaries. From the top ruler, Click with your left mouse button and drag down a half an inch from the top to set the top boundary. Then click and drag from the top again to set a boundary a half an inch from the bottom. Drag from the left to set a boundary a half an inch from the right border and click and drag to set a guideline a half an inch from the left border. Let's zoom in on the top left corner of our sheet. Click the zoom tool then start clicking and dragging at the top left of the sheet. And notice how we have zoomed in on our top left corner. We'll start by creating that checkerboard background square. Let's create a new layer above the current layer to put our checkerboard on. Now select the rectangular marquee tool. On the options bar set the feather to zero. Choose Fix Size as the mode and enter the size of your square. I've entered 2.25 inches by 2.25 inches for my square. Click at the intersection of those crosshairs to set the square. And we're going to fill this square with a checkerboard pattern. Double click on the foreground color to choose a different color and let's choose a medium aqua. Select the Gradient tool. On the Options bar, open the Gradient Picker. Make sure that your gradients are set to the default gradients. Choose the one on the four left, foreground to background. Now starting at the top left corner, click and drag diagonally across the square to make a aqua to white gradient. From the Filter menu, choose the Distort filters and then select Wave. In the Wave dialog box, set the number of generators to about 50. The wavelength will need to be exactly the same for minimum and maximum length. Set the maximum length first to 75 and then the minimum to 75. Set your amplitude minimum and maximum to 25. Under Type, select Square and under Undefined Areas, select Repeat Edge Pixels and then click OK. We now have our crosshatch background. Let's create a new layer above this current layer again and we'll add our circle. On the toolbox, select the elliptical marquee tool. On the options bar, set the feather to zero, check anti-alias, choose Fix Size again, and set the width of the circle to 2 inches by 2 inches. Now click anywhere on the screen to set the circle. Let's reverse our foreground and background color to use white as our foreground color. And then using the paint bucket tool, click in the circle to fill it with white. Now let's switch the foreground color back to aqua and from the edit menu choose stroke selection. Choose a width of 30 pixels. We will be stroking it with the aqua color. Set the location to inside and then press OK. We now have our circle. Now let's add some text. Create a new layer above the current layer. Choose the text tool and choose a font that you would like to use. Let's choose a color of black and 
type in some text. It doesn't matter right now where we're going to put the text. I'm going to call this Happy Day. If the text is too small or large for the area, click and drag on the bounding box to resize the text. We now have all of the elements for our party circle box, but they're not aligned. And we're going to do that using the Move tool. With the Move tool selected, click and drag across all of those three items. And notice that when you clicked and drag across all of those three items, the layers for each of those items was selected in the Layers panel. On the Options bar for the Move tool, there is an option to align the layers. So under Align, first choose Vertical Centers, and then choose Horizontal Centers. All of our items in the box are now perfectly aligned with each other. Now that the box has been created and it's all aligned, let's merge these three layers down. You can press Control e or from the Layer menu, choose Merge Layers, and they're all merged into one layer. Still using the Move tool, let's move that first box over to the left, and then press Control j or Command j to create a duplicate of that layer, and press Control j again to make a second duplicate. Let's zoom out a little bit with our tool, and we want to see the whole area within the top part of our file. Selecting the Move tool, drag our two copies out, and let's space them evenly in this area. With the Move tool selected, click and drag across the three items. And notice again that the three items are selected in the Layers panel. Now we're going to distribute these evenly across the space that they're in. On the Options bar, choose Distribute, and we're going to distribute them e evenly by their left edges. So click Left Edges, and notice how the box in the middle moved so that these are now evenly spaced. We now have a row of stamps. Let's use the Move tool again to select that whole row, and then press Control e or from the Layers menu choose Merge Layers to merge those into one layer. Double-click the Hand tool to see our file completely on the screen. Now let's press Control j again three times to create three copies. Using the Move tool, let's move the first copy down to the bottom of the page, the second copy just above it, and the third copy right below it. Again, we will select the Move tool, select all of the copies that we've just made, and notice how they're all selected in the Layers panel again, and Distribute. From the Options bar, choose Distribute, and this time we're going to distribute them from their top edges. Now all of our party circles are evenly distributed on the page. After you've created the sheet and aligned all of the pieces on your paper, let's merge all of the layers into one. From the Layer menu, choose Flatten Image. And now all of our stamps and the background are merged into one layer. To make this project shareable across many platforms, let's save it as a PDF file. From the File menu, choose Save As. And in the Save As dialog box, from the Format drop-down, choose Photoshop PDF. Give the file a name, and then choose Save. In the Save Adobe PDF dialog, choose an image quality of high for the best printing, and then click Save PDF. Now we've created a printable sheet of party circles. Use this lesson to make your own customizable party circles. I hope you've enjoyed this project.